nature art workshop tips, techniques, and step-by-step -step projects for creating nature-inspired art by Katie Brooks, Sarah Lauren Edwards, Sarah Lauren Edwards, and one, two, three, four, five other people. <laughs> So, you get an introduction, you meet the artist, chapter 1 deals with projects involving flowers, chapter 2 stones and shells, 3 wood, 4 other natural elements, 5 nature inspired art. So, like you're looking at things like painting on rocks, wood burning, painting on feathers, and quite a number of different projects to a lot of it can be like to me a lot of it can be seen as like home decor type stuff. <laughs> so that's just the way I'm looking at like the projects when having a look at them. So, like, you do get images that go along with the steps and states who is doing what project. So a lot of the times, it's a certain artist that covers a good majority of the chapter. So if they specialize in, like, woodcrafts, it would be just, it would be that author. One or two might put their own art into it, but... Yeah, so you get materials needed and then the steps on how to do it. You get a good selection of like crafts slash ideas. So if you have your own interpretation of whatever project that they're doing, I'm pretty sure you could do your interpretation of it. But yeah, if you are a person who wants to bring natural items into your into your home but you want to like spruce it up or whatever <laughs> or to do more with it to bring it in in some way this book could be of inspiration or help or whatever to you so and you do get a good selection of craft craft ideas so it's worth a shot having a look at at least so yeah, Nature Art Workshop by Car <coughs> Sorry, by Katie Brooks, Sarah Lorraine Edwards, Mikos Sumloy, Alyssa Stokes, Margaret Vance, Marissa Renino, and Alison Hitzel. So <laughs> happy readings.